It was a really fun day hosting the Rivertown Twilight. It was a great atmosphere. We were really excited to have some good competition there with Whitewater and Stout, some good conference competition. Um, they set the tone and, and they showed us up a little bit on our home course. We're excited to bounce back for conference and, and show them what we're made of. The guys' side was phenomenal. They had a 33 second spread from one to five and every single one of the 14 were under 30 minutes, which last year at this time, I think I only had about two or three under 30 minutes. So just seeing that growth right off the bat, first me of the season was really exciting. Um, the women's side, we had everybody PR. So that was exciting to see as well, just knowing I mean, not a testament to anything else besides them in the summer putting in that work when it was hard and they were alone. They, they saw it had all pay off in that first meet of the season, so that was really exciting. Going into GRIAC, I think um, I worked them pretty hard, and I'm not going to slow down on that, but they were working really hard, and so they felt a little tired, felt a little fatigued, but it was more of that mental battle, that challenge I wanted them to accomplish um, with the better competition, you know, with the D1, D2 um, all present. It was really a chance to say, hey, we belong here. We're going to race hard. Um, so I think time-wise, it's really hard to compare because GRIAC is hilly. It's a hard course. It's a little long of a course. So time-wise, out the window, the effort was there, um, and they were excited and could see, okay, I am tired, but I still had a good effort, and I'm way better than I was last year at this time. So... I think I'm still excited to see what we do this weekend at Eau Claire. Um, when knowing the course, knowing the competition, it's going to be a really good conference preview for us. Um, and so we're excited to revisit a course we know versus something that we don't know yet.